Wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand from the Caribbean. Wave your hand, wave your hand. All right, cricket is the topic of discussion now on the Sports Max Zone. And once you hear that sound, you know the Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League continues later with match 12 between home team St. Lucia Kings facing Trinbago Knight Riders at the Darren Sammy Cricket Stadium in Grosile. Both the teams are coming off defeats. The Knight Riders gave the Antigua and the Barbuda Falcons their first win of the tournament by six runs, while the Kings, who were top of the table heading into match 10, lost to the Ghana Amazon Warriors. Well, TKR captain Karen Pollard, after their loss to the Falcons, was not worried about his team's ability to bounce back. Tournament. There's two games. Obviously, we know when we get to Trinidad, it's going to have games thick and fast. Um, that's the nature of the competition. So for us, it's just about understanding what is needed for us to do as a team and continue to focus and get better as individuals. And, you know, no matter the breaks, the constant cricket, we'll be up for it when that time comes. In our group, I think there's a good bunch of experienced guys who understand the nature of traveling and playing cricket, you know, consistently or even inconsistently. So, you know, for us, we'll find things to do and we'll continue to come tighter, you know, as a team. Now, Kings skip off Faf Duplacy, also speaking after his team's loss, said the Kings have a lot to improve on. Two tough games in a row, but that's how you want it. Um, we'll reassess um, tactically where we can get better. Is there anything from a team combination that we feel suit us this wicket? But all in all, tonight wasn't our best. Um, I feel like even chatting to me afterwards, I felt like most of our wickets was batters giving their, their wickets away. So um, that's in your control, which is great. Um, so something to work for us to work on. All right, let me remind you how the points table look. All right. We have the Ghana Amazon Warriors having played three matches. They've won all three of those matches. They're sitting pretty at the top of the table on six points. The Barbados Royals, two out of two on four points. So they're in second position. Antigua and Barbuda Falcons, uh, they've played six matches in total. They've won two, lost four. So they have a total of four points as well. Now the St. Lucia Kings, who will be playing tonight, of course, the three matches, two wins and four points. TKR, they've played two matches, they've won one, they've lost one, so they have two points. And then the St. Kitts and Evis Patriots at the bottom of the table having played six matches on two points. So team, tonight is a very, very important match for both teams. Of course, TKR coming off a loss, St. Lucia Kings coming off a loss, Karen Pollard, Lance, and I understandably so, is not even stressing. He says, you know, when they get to Trinidad, that's where they have back-to-back -back matches. So he's not worried after just losing one match. Yeah, and they've played just two games so far. So they are earlier in the tournament than most of the other teams. But it's going to be a tough match because the St. Lucia Kings is a strong team. And we saw in the game that we had over the weekend, their spin playing a, a huge role in, in that match. Both teams have good spinners in their setup. So pretty important for them to rebound from, from a loss because no team wants to have back-to-back -back losses because sometimes when you get into a losing groove, it's sort of difficult to get out of it. But I think both of these teams have the quality to rebound and go far into the tournament. And uh, tonight will be very important, though. I just think the, the spinners, based on what we saw from the Darren Sammy cricket ground in the uh, weekend game, may have a key role to play in this match. Yeah, what about St. Lucia Kings playing at home? Yeah, just before we get to St. Lucia Kings playing at home, just want to point out from a TKR standpoint, you speak about the experience that they have in their squad. Andre Russell, one of those experienced players, he has been ruled out for tonight's game. The 24-year-old left arm medium, Josh Little, is also out. So two forced changes for the Trinbago Knight Riders going into tonight's contest against the, the, the St. Lucia Kings. Um, having said that, though, I think you are very much right. This TKR side does have a lot of quality and, and the captain Karen Pollard mentioned the fact that they looked a little bit rusty in that last game against um, the Antigua and Barbuda Falcons who by that time um, would have played enough matches and had enough <laughs> close losses to, yeah. to learn and, and, and put together a good ending to the game which they did and won it. So it will take some work tonight on the part of both teams. As to home advantage I know 
home advantage from a crowd support standpoint yeah i think is there in the cpl but when you think about the players and especially if you look at the trinbega knight riders setup because there is so much experience in the unit because they have played on so many different surfaces not just across the caribbean but right across the world they will they will very much um enjoy um, the, this Darren Sammy Cricket Stadium surface. It is one of the better surfaces across the Caribbean, definitely for the batsmen. Of course, there's always the issue, especially at the Darren Sammy Cricket Stadium, like the Sir Viv Richard Stadium, where the boundaries are a little bit bigger there, and especially if you're trying to hit against the wind, it can be difficult. So a lot of the bowling plans and fielding plans, I think, will be put together around the fact that you want to force batsmen to hit into the wind as much as as you can yeah what will be the difference maker tonight I'm just making y'all put your prediction hats on now. listen like it has been in a lot of these games it's just about how you play the big moments like we have a thing in tennis where we say listen whoever <laughs> wins or loses really does come down to how you play those big moments and that's how I feel about the CPL there have been so many close matches so many matches that just come down to execution of one bowler in the final over or one batsman with a few overs to go and I suspect we could have a similar situation tonight. I am at least hoping for another cracker of a game that goes all the way to the finish. Am I right? You're supporting Ginks? I'm supporting the Antigua and Barbuda Falcons, like I said at the start of the competition. Well, in case you forgot, we're wrapping for TKR, Lance and myself, so we'll see <laughs> what happens and tonight. And you just referenced home advantage just now. The Falcons lost more at home than they won, yeah. and the Patriots lost more at home than they won. So. There you go. So basically, this CPL, it counts for nothing. No. <laughs> but when you go to Trinidad, it's a different story. At least story. not yet. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, point, yeah. we're going to wrap up this CPL discussion and come right back. Remember, we have the CPL action here on your home of champions, so you don't have to go anywhere. We'll be back. Hit another six, there's no way we can lose.